What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Talk Talk Punch. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, whether you're watching us here on YouTube or listening in on the audio podcast, make sure you come back here every Wednesday. Make sure you also subscribe. Be one of those early subscribers. You can be one of those people that say, oh, I, w- I subscribed when there was only like 45 subscribers. You could be one of those people. Do it. <laughs> subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell. That way you will get notifi- notified every Wednesday when we come out with a new episode and you can see what we're talking about. Kind of like this week's topic. A lot of chatter online here about whether the MCU should end or not. So we thought, you know what? Let's talk about this. Let's see. What are some of the, what are some of the points on both sides? Should the MCU end while it's kind of at this high point? We'll see. I am Brody, joined by... I'm Charlie. <laughs> I'm Charlie. Two, and two Dong Dylan. All right, guys. So, the MCU. We've got over 20 movies. We are over 10 years into this franchise. This is the biggest Ooh. franchise ever. I think it recently surpassed James Bond. We are on track for it to just keep getting bigger and bigger. So there's a lot of chatter online. There's articles, and you can look them up. We're not going to reference one single article, because there's so many of them, of people saying the MCU should end while it's kind of at its high. What are you guys kind of knee-jerk thoughts on that, and then we'll kind of break it down. Charlie, how about you? you? Oh, never mind. Me oh. first then. Uh, <laughs> fun, like fundamentally, I uh, I disagree on the premise, but uh, I am, but I'm going to, in good faith, engage uh, with the points on both sides, while simultaneously holding steadfast to my belief that uh, <laughs> that it's great and should continue and continue to be in existence as long as it is great, and even when it's just good, and even when it's just okay. It can still just be there, uh, and that's great. It should outlive me, uh, you know, honestly. <laughs> just, uh, He's no, not I, I've, been really, I've been really enjoying... No, I'm not biased. Look, well, of course I'm biased. We're all biased. That's the whole point of this, right? <laughs> yes. People out there online thinking it should end or bias. We're biased. Everyone's, everyone's got their own personal preferences, and that's really what we're arguing here, because it's really silly, like, uh, you know, to, to <laughs> it should end. Like, I... I I don't. I don't like foreign films, so let's cancel all foreign films. Like I, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's a little it's a little silly. So, uh, but I'm I'm happy to good faith engage. Uh, I, I, jackets off, boys. The sleeves are the sleeves are off. There you, go. you got the guns uh, out. No gloves. What? Do this, guys. I'm, I'm by the way. I'm uh, I am prepared. If either of you make absolutely strong points, I'm prepared to flip my wig over it. By the way, so either one of you guys do that, or I may just flip my wig for myself. So, uh, there we Probably go. Not. Two, yeah, two dog. What, excellent what's, point by me. Two dog. What's kind of your knee jerk reaction to when you hear somebody saying that the MCU should end? I say why. I mean, they say ended on a high, and I'm like, but how, how do we even know that this is the high? I mean, it could go so much further. It could get better. Things can get better. They can get worse. But so far, I mean, they've been on a on a. I keep thinking I'm going to lose my enthusiasm for it, but. But I haven't. I mean, each time I'm like, ah, the Eternals. But then I'm like, wait, Spider-Man? And, and, and all, with Doctor Strange is it? And Doctor Strange, all these other things. And I start to get excited again. So, I mean, you know, there's a Thor too, And you're just like, I don't, I, okay. But then you've got like Civil War or, or uh, Winter Soldier. Or Thor 3. I, I keep going. I wish they hadn't killed off Robert Downey Jr. He should still be making appearances in there. I would have loved to have seen him talking to Reed Richards when he's in the MCU. That's my knee-jerk reaction. Robert Downey Jr.'s character, Iron Man shouldn't have died. Ridiculous. They say, oh, he should sacrifice. I'm like, no, no, it's ridiculous. Stupid. Okay. That's my um, knee-jerk reaction. <laughs> I, I think my, knee, my knee-jerk reaction is that it's an interesting thought. I, I don't think it should end. But am I quite at the excitement level that I used to be? No, I don't think so. But I don't know. You know, but and maybe that's just kind of where I am with this current phase and this current crop of characters, you know. 
I think once you start introducing some of these some of these properties that they've got, I think that excitement is just going to build and build and build. Um, so no, I don't think it should end. Uh, but let's 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 kind of get get our outline going. So we've got kind of the state of MCU. So right now we've got movies. We've got three to four movies a year coming out, and something like five. Disney Plus shows coming out a year. So we've got a lot of that's content. A lot. That's out. a whole lot. Yeah. It's a, it's that's that's a whole lot, you know. It, like is there another franchise that could that could do that? I don't I don't know. I don't know, you know. And MCU has a lot to pull from though. Um, and you know when when you don't watch something you you you're I mean you're I, I will admit I I've, I've not watched something and then continue to watch keep going and I'm like did I miss something? Was there a ninja joke in there? Did I miss? Is there a reference? Or I don't even know. You better like look it up. So I mean, I will admit that there is a lot of content, and if you miss it, sometimes some of the content you may miss. You know, the payoff to things for things you really do want to see. Well, but then does that mean I've got to go back and watch something that I don't really want to see? And that's that's been one of the arguments, right? Is yeah. that that it's the MCU has gotten to be a lot like the comics in that the comics you have all the different comics but then once a year or so you have a big event and in the event you need to read all of the uh, tie-ins to to really get the full story and so are we seeing that now with the MCU where in order to fully understand what the next Avengers movie is doing, you need to have watched every single Disney Plus show. I don't know. Charlie, what do you think about that? This, this, so this is one of the, the confusing parts of, of the argument to me. Because I don't, I, don't really, I don't really understand what people are arguing. So if the argument is, there's too much content for me to see, therefore I feel like I can't watch this new movie because I won't understand it, so I would prefer that there wasn't a movie for me to not go watch. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, like the they're not. I mean, what's the alternative? Like, the alternative is that the movie that you're not going to go see anyway because you feel like it's too much content just doesn't exist, and so that's somehow better. Like, because it's you know a little bit of work or maintenance to see a bunch of like shows or you know it's like with comics. Oh, I have to read a bunch of back issues. So I, I my solution here is we're just going to close down all the comics. And and no one's making new comics, or or are they saying like, hey, we'll we'll do one one new comic every five years, uh, so people have a lot of time to catch up. It, we're talking about like six to eight episode runs on Disney Plus, like it's minimal commitment, and we haven't seen really like if those shows are even necessary. Certainly on the Netflix uh, television side of things, like the Daredevil, Jessica Jones, like all that stuff was completely yeah. unnecessary. Not necessary to yeah. see, even though it was in the same universe, even though there was references to Avengers in it and stuff. And even though we we are going to get Charlie Cox as Daredevil in the MCU uh, oh, in, in the future, which I'm very excited for. Very. No, no, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. No, no, yeah, hoping. Yeah, it's confirmed. confirmed. It's been, it's been yeah, confirmed. I, yeah. I, I, I saw Kevin. I saw Kevin Feige but, say that like he's the Daredevil, but there hasn't been like an official like Daredevil will show up here. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I mean, okay, fair, fair. Um, but like, so I, I, I look, I. I'm not sure what the what people are asking for. Like, so like, oh, I have to see WandaVision in order to to understand this next Doctor Strange film. So maybe maybe if you guys could just not make WandaVision, which was a fantastic television show, and I'm so glad it exists. I'm not sure why people would be wishing away quality. Like, if you don't want to watch it, like you just don't have you. to. Don't watch it. Like you don't have to watch it, but just because you may not be into it, like that doesn't mean that it shouldn't exist for other people to enjoy. I mean, like it's such a weird yeah. dance to take. Like I, I'm not into polka music, but there's a world of people out there that the cultures that love polka music. I'm glad it exists for them. I don't, I don't want to eliminate <laughs> polka music from the world. I'm just not going to go buy a polka album. Look, and I will say this about the fatigue. Uh, there's a, there was an old Mexican restaurant near my old house, and the first time I went there, I was, I had low expectations, and I got the carne asada nachos, and with the gua, the guacamole, the best guacamole I'd ever had. The nachos about, oh, absolutely help? blew my freaking mind. No, I'm definitely not. Oh. And it was like really, really good. Uh, Baja fish tacos. It, oh. And it was just delicious. It was the best thing I've ever had. And the second time I went there, same thing. Got the same thing. Third time, same thing. But how many times can you get the same delicious meal? I mean, like when your expectations is for it to be up here, 
there's just there's nowhere to go except disappointment, right? It's either going to meet your expectations or it's going to come in below it. It's really hard to exceed your expectations once you've tasted how good it is. Now, that analogy doesn't hold all the way through with cinema because there is always room for improvement. But the idea here is that when we saw Iron Man and saw a lot of this phase one stuff, it was like blowing our minds because there had not been superhero movies that were this good. In fact, most of the super movies have been terrible. You get your your Ben Affleck Daredevils and, you know, just really horrible, you know, the X-Men sequels uh, and you know, Fantastic Four and just these like just train wrecks of movies. And then all of a sudden here comes the MCU and it's like, oh, my goodness, this is fantastic. And then after a while, your expectations are, well, every every movie's got to be here and it's really hard to to put out everything here and as far as like movie making goes they've done a pretty darn good job of like hitting like pixar like just hitting 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 and then you know sure the quality may dip a few you get you get a thor 2 you get something that maybe just isn't on the same level as other things but i mean just i don't know I don't, i'm not sure what people are expecting that they're they're so disappointed by these Tudong, what's what's your thoughts on um, just like the the continuity, do you think that the MCU is difficult to get into now? I don't. I, I mean, I keep thinking like thinking like things like Eternals, but I'm like, I, I I really don't. I think you can still get into it, and it surprises me. Uh, <clears throat> like when I was um, when I was teaching recently. I was like, uh, they, they, I was, um, having, I was in a class and there was a, you know, the teacher was, was doing their thing and, uh, I, I was assisting or something like that. I don't know why they had me there. But, uh, one of the things was like, oh, uh, name a celebrity you've met. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I met, and I had a picture with Jeff Bridges. And I was like, you guys know Jeff Bridges. And they're like, you have no clue who this guy is. And I was just like, he's, he's, okay. They, I mean, and they were in, elementary school so they hadn't seen the big lebowski they hadn't seen a whole bunch of that <laughs> kind of movies and i'm like he was in he was in wait he was in iron man i'm like you guys you guys saw the first iron man nobody had any they're like no we haven't seen iron man i'm like you guys know who iron man is and they're like yeah of course we do we've seen him in the marvel movies and i'm like but you haven't watched iron man hmm. and they hadn't then they were still right there into it and so hmm. i was just kind of like they don't even they didn't see the first those kinds of things and they still are just like jumping right in. I love that. I love having that kind of a thing. I I think that the, having the continuity is excellent. The only I mean this is why I think it was a terrible idea to let them kill off Robert Downey Jr's Iron Man. I thought it was just stupid. Let him go off, let him come back like <laughs> killing him was just ridiculous. Terrible terrible thing. But I mean I still think I'm still all in. I still think that you could jump right in at at any point just like like regular like with comics. Um I, I think it's it's fantastic. I like how everybody. Yeah, I think I think the MCU. Re... Oh, go for hmm? it. What are you saying? No, go for it. Go for it. I was, I was, gonna, I was just going to say, like, I I think that uh, there's there's a little bit of FOMO that comes like with with anything where there's consistency, like just like oh, oh like, I've got to see this, I've got to see this to keep up. Like, if you're missing out, Dylan, I'm sorry. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah. Not up on that on this on this slang. On this slang. <laughs> um, but like. It, it, <laughs> You know, I think the MCU does a nice job of rewarding you if you've seen everything. Like, there's inside jokes or little references or little things that I think bring. It's like, oh, oh, like, like the I, I love that that gif. Oh, I, and it's okay not to see every uh, single thing. Again. It's okay not to read every yeah, single. Like my issue. kids haven't, and they and they jump in and they like it. You know, they they yeah. they're able to watch a couple. They, they watched like half half of Wandavision and loved it, and then just stopped. <laughs> and we're like totally fine to go about their existence, and they're like. <laughs> It was great. Thanks, Dad. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm like, don't you want to finish it? Like, man, sure, maybe sometime. You know, like we really enjoyed it, but we got other things. Yeah, you know, so it's, no, I, I, they're, I, they're able I, to just I, pop in and out, and they're fine. Yeah, I highly agree. Like, I mean, yeah, I think that that is absolutely correct. I think you can jump right in, you can jump out, you can jump in, and I and you know, and that's happened even with some of the earlier ones. I mean, there were ones that took me a little bit longer to watch. But you, if you want, if you watch them, great. If you don't, you watch the ones you do want to see, and it, and it pays off either way. I think. I, th I like. I said. I think it's excellent filmmaking. I, I like how the writing is. People give them a lot of flack for the, you know, their uh, action scenes or this or that, and I don't, I don't know what what they mean. I think the quality is excellent. Obviously, there are exceptions, but hey, you know. Yeah, I think, you know, for just continuity standpoint we we don't really know how 
much these Disney Plus shows are going to play into the next phase, right? Like that's true. Yeah, you know, we haven't seen because you know by the time we're we're filming this, Doctor Strange into the Multiverse is not out yet. We don't know what Wanda's role is going to be in that. Um, so we don't know how much of WandaVision is kind of required viewing. We don't know, uh, you know, with the ne next Captain America, you know, like how much of Captain uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier kind of plays into that. Um, so we don't really know. Like, is that stuff required viewing or not? So uh, It's a funny juncture we're in. Yeah, yeah. Right now there there is still a lot of unknowns. I will say, you know... I used to read all the comics every week, you know, whenever a, an event was going on, my goodness, things like, uh, you know, fear itself and stuff like that was one of, was one of the ones that, that kind of like, I got to a point where I was like, okay, I can't read a single thing, you know, and how much, how much am I missing if I don't feel like reading this random defenders issue that's going to tie in and have a little bit of details on that and and ultimately like i'm not reading any modern comics right now it just kind of kind of killed the fun for me because i was like i can't keep up i don't know what's going on i i can't follow this stuff and yes i can follow like an individual episode but then at some point that episode is going to branch off and it's going to tie into some event that's going on and then i'm going to not know what's going on and then i you know it and so i and and not to say that that's where the movies are i don't think we're going to get to that point with the movies where you're going to be like okay i have to watch everything or i don't know what's going on you know I, but, but you, okay. you have to also you have to also remember you have to also remember that a lot some of the times because I was thinking just along the same lines with you, but you know, I have to admit, I would stick with it if it had the same continuity. How many times has uh, you know we uh, as like DC revamped their characters, changing their continuity completely? <laughs> That's true. I mean, I, I mean, like I follow the Batman stories, and now he's not the same Batman. I mean, he's Bruce Wayne. Maybe he still is. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. And I mean, like, so they switch it up on us. So I mean, like, so I mean, I'll say this. That's something that kind of has me worried about the MCU. That's one of the few things that has me worried is when if they have to re ask these characters. Mark Wahlberg said, oh, you know, if Robert Downey Jr. doesn't want to play Iron Man anymore, I'll play Iron Man. I can't play a science teacher, but somehow I can play Iron Man. What <laughs> if that was actually to happen? I don't want to see that. Well, that is the kind of thing that would complete. I'm like, does that make it end, though? Because continuity that I was watching, it ended and now they have some other kind of a continuity. So if they say, oh, it stops, or it stops forever, or redoing it, like James Bond, like, oh, I, it, that, that is what would have me worried, is having to recast and then new continuity, and then just be like, I, and I'm not, no longer, I'm like, I'm no longer in. And that's the, what I've been watching is done. And that's something that we have seen. We've already seen recastings in the MCU. We had James but Rhodes still... go from Terrence Howard to um, Don, Cheadle. Don, Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Um So we've already seen that. We haven't Edward seen... Norton and... Yeah, but it was still in the same continuity. We haven't seen many reboots yet. Right, yeah, right. Don't, don't even say that word. <laughs> you know, we're, we're gonna get... Okay, so so... Moving on to kind of our next point of, um, do we have fatigue over the content or the next phase or some of these characters? And can that be affected by the potential for other characters such as Fantastic Four or X-Men, which we know are coming? Oh, that's a really good I, I will say for me um, I am not consuming all of the uh, content so every trailer that comes out I'm not watching it right away every show that comes out I'm not watching it on release day um, Shang-Chi was the first movie in the MCU that I did not see in theaters and, and, hmm. and I 
you know, they released it, and then they were like, 45 days later, it's going to come to Disney+. Plus. And I was like, you know what? I think I can wait for Disney+. Plus. You know, that, that would not have happened at, for Avengers 1. Oh, geez, that's not a fair... Avengers 1 and Shang-Chi, I mean... Okay, so for Captain America 2. You know, I, I just, just like my overall excitement. Am I just, you know... Am I super excited for this next phase? I don't know. I'm looking forward to Doctor Strange. I like the Spider-Man stuff. Though the Spider-Man stuff could almost... You, there could be almost a little argument that that's a little bit separate from the MCU. It's in the MCU, but it's also in this Sony-verse thing. That's, oh. That is completely entrenched in the MCU at this point. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man has been in multiple non-Spider-Man MCU films. Come on, he is dripping and soaked in MCU. I, this next Spider-Man anyway. is pulling all the Spider, the Sony stuff, though. As well. well, into the MCU. It, he's like webbing it and then pulling it into the MCU. That's true. He's I not mean, saying, oh, I'll see you later, MCU. He's like their I, flagship no. now. Spider-Man yeah. is the... I, I don't think he's going to say, see you later, MCU, unless Sony decides to be a oh, jerk and house, pull it. Through. How stupid. Don't. That was such a st- How many times do I have to screw it up? How many times? But ha- have you guys, in the overall MCU, have you guys felt any fatigue over... Either the next phase or the characters that are coming. I've never felt a lot of pressure to see these movies when they come out. You, you guys are, if you've ever watched a single episode of this before, <laughs> you know that I'm not like a big in the theater guy. So there's never been like, I've never had this drive, like as soon as one of these, you know, MCU vehicles drop, even though I'm excited to see them, I've never had this like, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go shell out the box and go see it in the theater. And there were a lot of like phase one and phase two that I just casually saw later on and enjoyed them. It was great. Um, you know, I, I still haven't, I haven't watched Black Widow. I'm going to get to it. I'm excited to see it. You know, I, I but I, I don't have like this, you know, I'm, and, I, and when I watch it, I'm going to, I'm going to like it, but I just, I don't have like this big push to see it. And that's, that's great. I'm glad it exists. And, I, and when I watch it, I'm going to, I'm going to like it. Uh, it's going to be fine. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, at some point, like I, I, I don't feel I don't. So I guess my point is here. I don't feel any fatigue, and I'm just I'm I'm excited that new content's dropping. And on a case by case basis, my my individual level of enthusiasm may may swell up a little bit. Like I'm really excited for Spider Man. Cannot wait for that. Um, and then and, and then it may wane a little bit. Like all right, I'll casually wait for Disney Plus to have it, and I'll I'll see it when it's free, and and that's great. You know, some of these shows, uh, I you know are are going to be like real next episode clickers and then some of them i might kind of like slow play and watch an episode here an episode there but i'm glad they exist i want the choice of my content you know i look 10 years ago this when this started my life was simpler (laughs) uh so there was more there was a lot more room for me to like go to movies and you know 10 years ago i had one kid and he was one and it was like all right we can get a babysitter for our one kid and we can go to a movie and you know, ten, ten, ten years later, I'm staring down the barrel of a fourth kid, and and you know, I'm older, and and bills are more expensive, and you know, life is harder. And this, you know, you talked about reading comic books. Early. I used to read power read comic books all the time when I was a kid. When I when I had time, like it was great. And I I, I can't get into like a big story thing now, but I, I'm glad that I'm glad that my kids can. Sure. Um, you know, and so I can pass that baton onto them. And if there's a point in time where I'm like just done with the MCU, that's great. If they reboot Iron Man and I'm like, nope, 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 can't do it, uh, then great. Because there'll be other kids that are like, whoa, this is my Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, I'm not going to watch that 20 years ago Iron Man. I'm going to watch, I don't know, Mark Wahlberg as a 65-year-old as Iron Man or whoever they cast. Uh, And that's great. You know, like there are people out there that have, you know, there's generations that have their Star Wars movies. There's generations that have their Tobey Maguire, no, Garfield, no, you know, Holly, great. Great. I didn't like the Garfield Spider-Mans. Other people love them. That's great. I'm glad they exist. I don't, I'm not wishing them out of the universe. You know, so I'm glad, I'm glad they're making content because content gives us choices. And when we have choices, then we have a lot more exposure to things that we can choose to love or choose to ignore. You know? If it wasn't this, it'd be something else we'd be talking about. If it was like 10 years ago we, or 20 years ago, we'd be talking about some other thing that was a juggernaut on here and We'd be talking about Star Wars. That ruining the film industry would be something else. Yeah, we'd be talking about Star Star Wars Wars. 20 years ago. I mean... (sighs) mean, Star Wars is a good example. Like, 
there's nothing there's nothing that Star Wars can ever produce that will match the level of excitement I had to see the prequels. Like there's just nothing that can happen in my lifetime ever again that will match the level of enthusiasm that I went and see saw the Phantom Menace with. But there's also very few things that the Star Wars universe could produce that I would like that would disappoint me quite as much sure. as, as watching Phantom Menace did. For sure. I mean, I love The Mandalorian. I, I've, I've, I've loved that more than any Star Wars thing in a long time, but I'm certainly not as excited for the next season to drop as I was for Phantom Menace, but I know it's going to be better and I'm going to enjoy it more. Probably. I'm just more, you know, I'm just more relaxed in my viewing these days. I'm excited to see it, but I, you know, I, I don't get quite as, I'm not quite as up or down on the, if, and if something's bad, I just don't watch it or I, you know, it's great. Like I, I've, I've never rewatched Thor 2. That's fine. I'm comfortable with that. Like it's it's fine. Like that doesn't bother me. Like I don't feel like a compulsive need to rewatch it. But I can understand it that if you did, it's a lot. If you felt like you had to rewatch every single Mar- Marvel movie every time a new Marvel movie came out, and I know that there are people that have kind of like this continuity drive. I do this with TV shows sometimes to my own detriment. I've done this with the Harry Potter franchise, where I'm like, well, I should start from the <laughs> beginning and work my way through to the end, and then I t- I start tapping out because it's just too much uh, instead of just jumping in at, uh, where I left off before. So I, I, I can understand it's that. It's just not where I'm just at. Just gotta finish it, Charlie. Bro, one of these days I'm yes. gonna have to tell my uh, Phantom Menace story. It's a long story. It won't work here, but I got one of these days I'll tell the Phantom Menace story. Uh, we'll, oh. Maybe we'll have a Star Wars episode at some point. Ooh. Nice. Right, should the Star Wars universe end? The answer is no. Should the, should the Skywalker oh. saga end? Maybe. Should Star Wars end? Hasn't it? Hasn't it? Well, we'll see. You have any kids? Hey, we're we're we're, we're talking would, about we're talking about the MCU. I would love. <laughs> I would love to watch a Luke, a Luke a Luke a Luke at the height of his power series. I would love that. Well, but, there you go. All right, on we go. Subscribe below, and that way you'll know when we come out with our should Star Wars end episode. Oh. <laughs> all right. So, so I feel like we're all kind of. We all don't think that the MCU should end. We all feel like it should just keep going. Ha- has the excitement of every single new movie waned? Maybe just a little bit. Sure. But I think that's okay. Right? And it's always been I don't think we need... Like, I don't think every movie has to be a major event in our lives. You know, like... I. I I mean, I was consuming everything when, like, Avengers 2 was coming out. That was kind of like this height of, like, ah, I gotta watch everything. And, you know, maybe I'll get to that point, just depending on the thing. I, I guarantee you, when the first X-Men trailer drops, Ooh. I will be watching it on day one, and I'll probably watch it 15 times. You know? When, when like, I don't know, when the next... I don't know what movie that I'm not super excited about drops and I, and I, and I watch it a day later. That's okay too. Like it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that what, what'd you say? say? Uh, Fantastic four. I know you, you hate you. uh, you, Nothing will ever live up to the first uh, two incarnations that you love so much. Oh man. No. When the fantastic four trailer drops, I'll be watching that 15 times. (laughs) 20 nice. times, 30 times, 40 times. We'll have a, re- we'll have a, a reaction trailer to that. Subscribe, yeah, yeah. and that way you can come back and watch our reaction of the Fantastic Four and the X-Men and every MCU thing that comes, because doggone, they're all cool. But, so we all, we all kind of feel the same way, right? It's, it's okay if, if we're excited for the future. Okay, so so Points, we all, yeah. points that we want to hit on why the MCU should not end. Charlie, do you have any points on, on that? Maybe overall excitement, potential for new characters? Sure. Yeah, and I, I mean, I, I've kind of been... I, I, I feel like kind of giving my, my reasoning here for why it shouldn't end this whole time. And but, you have. Um, but yeah, just <laughs> to, double, to double down... Uh, no, I just, I'm just excited. I'm excited for where we're headed. I think I've really, really enjoyed the Disney Plus television shows. I, I love TV more than movies probably at this point in my life because I, I just, I like the episodic control that I have. Or if I have time, I can watch two or three. And if I don't have time, I just don't watch it for a little while and I can get into that. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, so I'm really excited about you know the shows coming up. And I like, I like seeing new things 
like when Ga- Guardians of the Galaxy dropped, I was like, not familiar with it. Like I it, saw a trailer, I'm like, this looks entertaining, but I, I'm not really sure what to expect. I like I like that they're surprising me still with Shang Chi, and I'm I'm excited to watch the She Hulk TV show and like you know characters that I'm maybe aware of, but more ancillary like characters that that in my comic book reading from my youth or you know stuff that I'm aware of, but not not necessarily like versed in. I, I like that. I want to be surprised by storylines and plots. I, I I really really loved WandaVision and and really all the all the Disney Plus TV shows have been great and and gives and it gives like a different they can do different and unique things because I think one of the complaints is is that it's all kind of the same. And I can I can understand that with some of like the you know like the movie the movies from Phase 2 or Phase 1 where there starts to be kind of like a feeling of like cookie cutter where it's kind of sameness and i like that the tv shows kind of can break can break that mold and do something a little bit different even even if it's still a little you know some of those choices are still a little safe that's fine i don't i don't mind that i it's fine that's fine it's it's good i I, i'm excited for the multiverse stuff and maybe and maybe through the multiverse dylan you'll get robert downey back because they'll be like hey in a different timeline there he is. He's still like, hey, you know what I did? I just didn't simply kill myself to to defeat Thanos. We uh we just beat him because we were superheroes. And yeah, maybe maybe through the multiverse we'll get that Mark Wahlberg was Iron Man the whole time. Oh, uh, oh god. Oh my, why, 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 come why, on, that's deserving. Why are you sullying his reputation? That's deserving of a wig flip, too, dog. That is deserving of a wig flip. <laughs> that is definitely deserving. <laughs> Bro, you made me flip my wig. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't bode well for this episode that we weren't able to get him to flip his wig with any of our points. So I just did. Oh, well. What are you talking about? He totally just did. You, you forced him. It. You forced him to do the, it. The multi. You, you practically begged him for it. He I got was, it. He had gotten it, sir. Was that was begging. about very well earned wig flip. Very. Well <laughs> it was me Oof. the whole time. <laughs> 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 Uh, Two dong. How about how about you? What uh, what are what are some things that that you're feeling that that you think the MCU shouldn't end? What are you what are you excited about? That... Oh, I'm excited about. I mean, I'm still excited about the whole thing. I'm excited to see uh, Charlie Cox's Daredevil. I'm I, I'm excited to see him interact with uh, Spider Man and 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 uh, hopefully um, you know Doctor Strange. And I'm excited to see the other the other Spider Man and all that. I would have flipped my wig with that Spider Man uh, trailer if we had seen the boys, but we didn't see him. But I mean, I'm still excited about. It. I'm excited to, for Doctor Strange too. I'm excited about Shang Chi. I thought that was a really fun movie. I liked it, and uh, I, I wanted to see more of it. That, that Aquafina she sounded like she was. I mean, she's not an old person, but she sounded she sounded like she was like 60, 65. She was like. Hey Shang Chi, I was like, what happened? What? What? what is, that's not, is that? That's not how she's always talked, has it? I mean, I've never, I have never thought that. Whenever you know, I've seen it before, I haven't seen a lot of them, but I'm too, still very excited about the MCU, and I still want it. I want it to continue. I want to still see more. <laughs> they haven't rebooted it yet. They haven't canceled it. They haven't done any of that. Like they keep coming out with stuff. I, I'm, I'm still all in. I, I, it's, I may not be as excited for some, but. That's how it's been with the whole MCU. And then they come back with like a civil war or a infinity war. Lots of war. Sure. And peace. I would have seen, I would have seen those Avengers, uh, those in, in <laughs> Avengers Age of Ultron. I would have, my favorite part was watching them just at that party. I'll just chit chat. I would have watched like, you know, Iron Man goes to the store with with Bruce Banner. You know, <laughs> but he's. I would have seen all of those kinds of things because I think that they are fantastic, and I'd still I'd still watch that stuff. Maybe not with some of the other characters, but maybe yes with some of the other characters because I mean they're still great. I and as a whole, I still uh, love the MCU, and I'm I'm still in for it. There you go. Yeah, and I I I agree. I I think that there is still a lot to look forward to. I think that... I want to see Deadpool in the MCU. I, and I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get yeah, Deadpool no, in the MCU. Uh, we know that we're getting Fantastic mm-hmm. Four. We know that we're going to get X-Men. There, I think there is still a whole lot to be excited about. And right. whether we get kind of that core Avengers team of Downey as Iron Man and Evans as Captain America again... I don't know, you know, but those movies still exist, and and I'm still excited for the things that can come. Like, man, as as a kid who grew up like 
consuming every X-Men thing that I possibly could in the early 90s. And Jim Lee just being like, oh, like that is my that is my X-Men artist is Jim Lee and my X-Men number one fold out issue. Like the thought of having an X-Men in the MCU still makes me super excited. And so, no, I don't want it to end because there's still a lot I want to see. And and yeah, yes, I'm yeah. not super excited about like every single thing. I'm not like jumping out of my seat for every single thing that they announced. But there's still a lot that either they have announced or that they haven't announced yet that I know that are coming that I cannot wait for. So, Charlie, you mentioned it in in our pre-production meeting. Like, just because someone doesn't like it doesn't mean it should end. If you're fatigued on the MCU, take a break. It's okay. Everything is coming to the Disney Plus. So so if you want to take a year off and you want to say, you know what? I'm done with MCU for now. I've had enough. I need to take a year off. It's okay. Because in 45 days, all those movies are coming to Disney Plus. And then you can just... You know, if a really old marathon. filmmaker... If a really old filmmaker doesn't like the MCU because, you know, it's showing them up, they shouldn't be jealous. <laughs> they should be gracious. It's nothing to do with them. Nothing to do with them. Saying it's heartless and all that kind of stuff? Heartless? A lot of heart still in the MCU. I think there's still a ton of potential for the MCU to still be great. Agreed. I don't mm -hmm. think it's on a decline. I think we're going to have... We may have some duds here and there. I think that's just with any franchise, you know. But I'm I'm excited for for what's still to come. I agree. All right. Well. All right. Well, let us know. Let us know what you're thinking. Are you guys excited still for the MCU? Are you fatigued? Are there some things that you uh, would point out that we didn't? Uh, that are reasons why you think it should end, or reasons why you hope it never does? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, we always love hearing from you, um, especially when you're saying nice things. Uh, so make sure you hit that like or subscribe button or check out some other of our content if you're interested. And we look forward to seeing you next time here at Tuck Tuck Punch. See you later. Go watch some MCU.